All right, so I haven't finished recording all of the videos yet, but if I were to take a, a bet about halfway, being about halfway through, this is probably the longest and most complicated one. So just kind of follow follow with me here real quick. And if you have questions, feel free to reach out to me and I'm more than happy to help you out. So fruit sales last year being my first year as the teacher here at Staples, definitely were a little bit shocking and luckily Ben uh, helped me out quite a bit with that. But fruit sales is something that I feel a lot more confident in this year and I have a really good kind of understanding of how it works. So I'm excited to work with you as the treasurer making sure that this is successful this year. So there's a lot of different moving parts to fruit sales and it starts pretty much right away here in September and it will wrap up um, even December into January when we have extras that we are trying to get out into the community. So kind of a timeline of what this looks like and I'll kind of speak more specifically on each item as we go through. So late September and in October, you're gonna work with me to contact the distribution companies and obtain baseline prices. So um, we receive, for the fruit at least, we receive our, um, fruit from a wholesale distributor. So basically we order our apples and our pears and our oranges and all the fruit that we have in bulk from a wholesaler, wholesale distributor. And what we do then is we look at the price per apple. So when we purchase, let's say that we buy a package of 100 apples and it costs us $20 to buy that 100 count of apples. That runs to be about 20 cents per apple. Okay, so then we use that to help us figure out what price point are we going to sell our mixed custom and full on boxes for um, to make profit. And we have specific profit margins that we have calculated from year to year that we like to kind of stay in to kind of ensure that we um, are making a decent amount of money from this as this is our big chapter fundraiser each year. And the better we do in fruit and butter braid sales, the fewer fundraisers we have to do in the spring and the more likely we, everyone's trip to convention is paid for. So um, you're going to work with me to obtain those baseline prices and then we're going to set up an afternoon, um, you and me as the treasurer and advisor to go over and figure out um, how much we are going to sell our different items for. I'm not going to go super in depth with that right now, but we'll spend more time on that later. Um, then we're going to update our flyers and correspondence with the reporter. So generally, um, you are going to have to update a want ad. You're going to have to update a flyer of some sort and other communication forms going out to F or, um, school district staff, to community members, and to the local newspaper. And all of these communication mediums are going to be sent out in various different channels um, so that everyone knows about the upcoming fruit sale. And we'll distribute those right after we have our informational meeting. That's the last point here. The informational meeting will generally happen the week after MEA break or potentially sooner if we decide to bump up our fruit sale time. And the informational meeting is basically where you are going to be running that as the treasurer and sharing about um, what fruit sales is, the different incentives that we have for the upcoming year, um, and also how they can get involved. And that's where we'll also hand out those um, their infamous little packets. This year, I'm hoping that you and me can work together, 2020, 2021, if you're watching this, um, we can work together to streamline this process into an electronic um format so that we are not scrambling at the last minute and entering everything into Google Sheets on um, the day fruit sale orders are due because that's no fun for anyone. So hopefully we can do that this year and it'll make our lives a little bit easier. So that's September and October's work. Then we send out those fruit forms and everyone is out um, selling their fruit. Early November, we're going to have those early birds um, prizes hopefully again this year if that's what our team would like to do. Um, and then we're going to track those early sales and determine who gets those incentive prizes. There's a little bit of a hiccup with that last year. So hopefully this year um, we can work together and make sure that that is good. And then also you're going to work with me to promote general sales. So while you guys are all out going and selling and trying to make as much money as you can so you get those prizes and help our program, I'm also going to get bombarded with emails from people in the community who see our wanted ads and don't necessarily have a connection to an FFA member who just want to buy some um, fruit or butter braids. That's an awesome thing. But um, 